Gosh, that hurts. So the Eagle goes begging and still has this for birdie. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Stroke that with authority. Moving on now, Frank, we're at the par 3 seventh hole. What's the challenge here? Really, the high ball hitters have an advantage here. Just try and carry it in the middle of the green. You know what's great about Bay Hill is that it's the house that Arnold Palmer built, the king. And if you do visit Bay Hill, there's actually a decent chance that at some point you'll... Rich, he's gone. In the hole. You do not see that every day. That, folks, is a hole-in-one. Wow. Getting ready to tee off now at the 8th. And Frank, this hole has a little bit of everything. Yeah, even though it's a pretty hole, Rich, it, it's a fair way you must hit because that second shot here is one of the toughest on the golf course. Contact, good result. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Frank, I have to say, I've been impressed by the level of golf today. Really came out here with a solid game plan and executed. I agree. We've seen some great shots out there, and I'm excited to see how the rest of the round plays out. Might go deep here in the red numbers. Good looking shot right here. It has been a ball striking clinic today. Getting one green after the next. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, that front page of the leaderboard has been looking good all week. You're exactly right, Rich. Uh, I think our winner is certainly going to come from that list right now. I'm excited for tomorrow's final round. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the third leg of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Orlando Classic. This is not hitting in the right direction. You know, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Well, he pays the price for that. 
Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. Gonna need a bit of force to extract one out of there. What a display of shot making this has been, Frank. Oh, that incredible approach shot there. The easiest of birdies coming up. Good read, good line. Well played. Frank, now to the 14th of par three, and how difficult is this hole? Once again, very narrow entry into the green. So ideally, you want to fly the ball a little higher than normal. Make it soft, make it land a little softer. This is a good looking shot. That's how you play the game, right there. Stick it in close and then knock in the birdie. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Great, too. Beautiful. At the 15th hole now at Bay Hill, this is a massive dogleg, Frank. Yeah, if you're a Bubba Watson type player and you can move the ball around, you can move it left to right, that'll certainly help the tee shot. Uh, if you're average Joe, though, just hit it down the left. Take your medicine. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot, he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Frank, what are you looking to do with this approach shot here at 15? Anytime the flag's on the front, uh, Richard's basically green light special. When the flag starts to get pushed towards that back area of that green, it starts to get narrower and narrower and narrower. And that's where you've got to be a little careful. Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Good chance here. No problems there. You know, it keeps the round going, keeps the momentum on his side. We've seen guys through the years blow the tournament right on this hole. Yeah, if you get a little too greedy here, you try and make eagle. Uh, <laughs> It's sometimes with a good tee shot, it's an easy four, but a three brings seven into play. Great line, what a great shot. He has really hit it a long way. Frank, he could make eagle right here with a really good approach shot. Yeah, well, well within his reach too. And Rich, we just sit back and relax here. I think we're going to see perhaps a very good look at Eagle coming up. He's hit it very close, and he will have that Frank for an Eagle. Amazing. 
and how quickly the round changes. He'll quickly pick up two shots on the field. Always like this par three, Frank. Par three, 17th. Let me amend that. I like watching the best in the world play it because it can be daunting, especially with the pressure ratcheted up. When they have the tournament on, this green is brick hard. Um, a little bit downhill, that's about the only advantage you get. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Another birdie, and what a day it's been. 2008, Frank, Tiger made that 25-foot putt right here at the 18th, final round to beat Bart Bryant by a shot. Then again, for a second straight year, he birdied this hole to defeat Sean O'Hare. Yeah, he's had a similar putt there uh, at least three or four times, actually, to win the event. And he's been the, one of the few players to read it correctly. That's a good spot right there. Send a cup. Those are good numbers right there. 320, 320 yards. Just crushed it in the fairway. Well, that's how you do it. Hit it close, take the pressure off that putt. That one should be no problem to win the Orlando Classic. Oh, you always like that. Count it as a bird. That's why you play the game to stack up the wins. Great effort right there.